Hey, this is Daryl as a service Webster, and if you're like me, uh, you may have sat there waiting for Yammer to connect to Office 365 groups, but you do have to take an initial step. Uh, going into the configuration of your Yammer network, um, I was confirming, yes, I do have a, a few different domain names that are associated with my network, but, but I do have a one-to-one -one match. Um, so it's really within the security settings that you have to adjust and make sure um, that your connected Yammer groups are going to be activated using an enforced Office 365 login. Um, so there's no need for me to test this, so I'm going to commit to enforcing it right here, right now. And as I do that and save those settings, then I'm going to be able to have that connected groups. And there's your clue there. Connected groups are not turned on for this network yet until you save this setting. So I hadn't done that. As I do save it, We'll just go down now and confirm that it is indeed in place. So if we create a new Office 365, rather a new Yammer group, I'm just going to go along with the scenario of an office relocation that we're planning to do. Bring in my old mate Matt Stafford and create the group. It's a public group. Um, so as I go through here, it will take a little while for the services to provision, not too long. But you will start to see the, the menu pop up. And then like with all Office 365 group services, it's forward syncing to the different platform or service to create the service itself. So SharePoint Online is provisioning now in the background. Of course, the OneNote will be in the background too, and the planner space as well. So I have my links there. There's my Office 365 resources, and it's a connected group. It is now connected. The Yammer group is now connected to an Office 365 group. So going through to my SharePoint document library, let's uh, put this one to use. It is um, sitting within a, a SharePoint team site, of course. And I can click directly through there. Let's just bring across a document into the document library. Uh, I thought I'd choose a, an Excel spreadsheet just to try this one out. So it's uploaded. And um, we'll go back and have a look at this from the perspective of a group conversation. So I want to be able to start a conversation around this document. And initially what I had done was copied the link from the SharePoint site and dropped it into the conversation box. But that, that isn't the best way to do it. Uh, so let me just start off a conversation here. Please have a look at this list of contractors. And what I am going to make use of, uh, rather than pasting in the link, uh, because that would just appear as, as um, just a, basically a link. But this, this way, if I select from the OneDrive, which is <laughs> a bit confusing with the naming, but um, it's really the Office 365 Groups team site document library. I'll select the document there. And um, so that brings through the direct link to the, the document. Um, but as I post it too, it's going to give a, um, a thumbnail too of the of the, the document and um, then when I launch it from here um, I can of course start to work with it from either within my browser or from uh, the the desktop version of of Excel as well So go through in here change a, a thing or two about the title that's usually the safe thing to do during a demo uh, yeah we'll just remove the the S off schedule all right, and um, we don't need to save, of course, because that's saving all in the background. Let's click the Office Relocations link, and that, of course, takes me back to that document library. So done. Yeah, it's a, a document. I've changed it for a few seconds uh, ago, and going back to the Conversations area. And you see that's the pattern, too, even with Outlook. And that experience, you can click in that top corner. So we'll go into Planner now and, um, and set out a few tasks, our Office Relocation. Uh, Plan is good um, also for making, uh, I guess, a follow-up list of tasks after a meeting. So um, you've got your action items. So let's uh, complete a, the network and the, the new office. We've got to make certainly make sure we've got network connectivity. And you'll see here from the planner um, menu of things that I can go through to uh, other areas of that connected group. I can go directly through to that Office 365, that, rather the, the OneNote notebook. Um, a new OneNote notebook, it's not going to have any sections, so let's give it a, a useful common section called Meetings. And we're going to uh, make use of a page here for the first meeting about the office relocation. Drop in an agenda. Can't really think of anything right now. 
we'll just leave that blank for now. Uh, and following that pattern too, um, let's just go back to that document library. Now yeah, within uh, OneNote Online or within the applications, of course, you can't go back to the, the Yammer group. Um, this takes you back to the SharePoint experience and then you could uh, go back to group conversations. Now with this, we're now in the team site, uh, going back to uh, that experience now. So of course the Yammer group gets a full team site and I could be making use of this news uh, feature as well. Now, some people like to write really long posts and big stories for Yammer. Um, this is a, probably a, a good way to do this instead is creating your long posts and stories within your team site. Um, adding in photos, great big long descriptions and recounts of different events that you've been at. And then you could publish that story and then paste that back into the, the conversation that um, back into Yammer and have a conversation around the post. Um, because it's better to have short conversations rather than great big long posts that take a long time to read. So, we're back to our conversations. Um, what else can we explore there? That's about it. So that should have covered some of those vital steps that you weren't a, a numpty like me just sitting there waiting for it to happen on its own. Um, but you did actually read through the instructions eventually and uh, get the job done. So take those steps, start to enjoy some of those connections that you have from a Yammer group into Office 365 groups, the library, the team site, the, the notebook and planner. Great, get started.